Hello, my name is George. I'm the founder of Firearm Guards. If you're watching this video, that means you're on my website and I truly do appreciate it. We launched this product at the NRA show in Indianapolis three years ago and uh, it's been an explosion ever since. Uh, we've had such fantastic luck. It's just been unbelievable. I appreciate everybody's orders and I appreciate all the great comments and everything. Uh, what can I say? I'm humbled. It's, a, it's been a, quite an experience. We got since then, we've got great guys like Ted Nugent and Jim Scouton are doing, uh, not only using the products themselves, but uh, promoting for us, and we really do appreciate it. So I just want to address a few questions. Um, a, lot of our, a lot of people are used to taking a desiccant product like this and putting it in the oven for, uh, you know, 600 degrees, 400 degrees, whatever, for hours and hours. You don't need any energy to charge these things. These things are 100% natural. Um, and they'll charge naturally. All you got to do is put them in the sun for a few hours if they get saturated and it'll completely dry out. These things are good for a couple of years. We give a two-year warranty. <clears throat> They're actually good for a lot longer than two years, but we give a two-year warranty and, uh, and, and they will most definitely last two years, you know. Um, this idea come from a old recipe that settlers used to use to keep the moisture out of their food supplies down in their basements and cellars and uh, they used to put all these ingredients together into a gunny sack, an old potato sack, stick it down in their basement, and uh, it keeps the moisture out. Uh, it keeps the moisture out. Just, it's really fantastic how it works. As a matter of fact, I've been down into some old abandoned houses that have been abandoned for 30, 40 years, something like that, and you go down in the basement and the cellars, and it's all wet and damp down there, and you go into one room where they used to keep the food supplies, and there's some gunny sacks full of this old ingredients, and it's completely dry in there. Nobody's been there for 40 years, and it's still working, you know, so <laughs> you could take that with a grain of salt, how long this will probably last, but we just put a two-year warranty on it, makes people feel more comfortable, and... Uh, um, but it, 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 it definitely it, it's definitely a fantastic product. There's a few questions that people have been asking lately, and uh, I wanted to uh, I wanted to address that. One, as I said before, you don't need to put it in the microwave. Don't put it. As a matter of fact, don't put it in the oven or microwave because this bar will melt. But uh, anyway, uh, it, it's it's all natural. All you got to do is put it in the sun for a few hours, and it'll completely dry. People are saying, "Hey, why the Velcro? Do I got to take the bar out?" The only reason we got the Velcro, the Velcro is just simply for our manufacturing uh, convenience. It's a lot easier than sewing it. Just open the Velcro and close it. It's just a lot better. But you do not have to take the bar out of the bag. Absolutely not. Just take this pouch when it's uh, when you feel like it's saturated. Set it outside. Set it in the sun for a few hours. A couple hours, two, three, four hours in the in the hot sun, and uh, it will completely dry. This bar will go from dark green to uh, completely white in just a few hours. And you do not have to take the you do not have to take it out of the bag to do it. And you can if you want to, but you don't have to. And if it's a cold day in the winter time, um, it, it's it's all you have to do is just like here now with the sun coming in the window, just set it in the window sill. Just set. This, and uh, <clears throat> it's just the same thing for a few, and it'll it'll completely dry. Uh, what really worked well in the winter time, set it above your uh, above your furnace vent, and uh, let the air go through it, and that thing will be dry as a bone in a few hours. It really works. It really works fantastic. And uh, a lot of people say, hey, I get my pouch, and I can feel that the bar is broken. This thing must not be working. Listen. It doesn't make any difference. If the bar is broke, it actually works better. This thing could be powder in here, and it works. It works fantastic. The only reason we put it into a brick form like this is because there's. I got some noise. I'm in my office at the factory, and there's. You got factory noises in the background, so that's what that noise is. But uh, anyway, uh, the only reason this is in the brick form is because the. The, the ingredients is so dusty, and uh, it, it's just in this. Obviously, you have to have a breathable pouch to make it work. Otherwise, if you put it in a uh, put it in a sealed container, <laughs> you know, obviously it's not going to work. It has to be in a breathable pouch. Um, and uh, to put the ingredients in without putting it in this brick, and you take it and you hit it, and there's powder everywhere. Obviously, that's not going to work for uh, that's not going to work for um, you know for for gun safes that have handle boxes and such. So that's why we have to put it into a brick, you know, that's the only it's just for manufacturing reasons. So if you get your pouch and you can feel that's broken or there's pieces in there, that doesn't matter. It, it, it's working perfectly fine. So if you got any questions, um, feel free to email me. I would love to I would love to answer any questions that you have. Apologize for the background noise for the factory. Thanks, George.